Well, you guys, here it is. The new project that I went ahead and I officially uh, bought after four years of not having a Honda. Had to get back into it. Talk a little bit more about it. This is a 1997 Honda Civic uh, hatch. It is a clean title, rust-free vehicle from Arizona. Um, the car came with a H23A motor. Uh, needs work with the harness. It needs work with the starter, with the alternator, and then the um, VTEC is not actually properly mounted. As you guys can tell, it comes with Toyota tires and RPF ones. Um, the, the whole paint job is going to be completely redone. I don't think I'm going to have to. I don't think I'm going to be able to settle for a paint job like this. Um, you guys can tell, like it nicked out here and there. Like it's a bad paint job. You know what I mean? For the price, I really can't complain. I mean, you guys can tell, like seriously. You guys see this? It's going to need some work. It's it's not going to be the perfect car. It's going to need some work, but that's why they call it a project. The interior, though, everything's all intact with the interior. The speakers actually work. The speakers work in the back, so I guess the interior is a plus. It needs a little bit of cleaning here and there just for taking it in and out the shop. Um, really, that's really it. I mean, again, needs some work here and there. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to be doing step-by-step, -step and we're going to be doing a uh, actually a K-Swap, K24. K28 2 actually most likely all-wheel drive setup on this everything really matches the lines just you know it's gonna need some work here and there um whole rest of the body's fine but again like i said i want to get a brand new paint job i want this to look like a uh, civic type r if that makes sense um the trunk is actually also good let me go ahead and show you guys the trunk i think this is not locked yet no it's not there we go the trunk still has hydraulics that work you guys see that the trunk is like still got hydraulics that work in it um the interior is the benefit really i guess you can say the benefiting off the interior alone speakers are actually still working they're all intact you guys can tell like everything's all actually intact which is nice i'm happy to say that you know what i mean these are where we put the headlights at but it's just the the, the paint job is just not my uh, it doesn't sound very good oh, Chain, the paint job is just not my thing Someone looked like they just rattle canned it. You know what I mean? But again, it's almost as if I'm buying this just a shell. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really make a difference. These are going to have to get fixed. And um, I'll definitely go ahead and keep you guys updated. Forgot to say it's got an H23A motor in there. That motor will be up for sale soon. And uh, yeah, we'll get along from there and see how it goes. Uh, we're going to do a step-by-step -step of how to do a K-swap. Uh, we might do it on a budget just to help people out there. Because we're also going to build this on a budget. Down the road, we do want to make it all-wheel drive turbo. So I, I would guess like 7,800 horse for the street would, would be great. So right now it has an H2B in it, which consists of an H23A JDM blue top with a V16 EM1 transmission. It's it's great, but it's 30-year-old technology, and uh, we're with the K-Series now. So that's what we're going to do, guys. Stay tuned.